Hi Wanderers, welcome back to Jag My Memory. This video is looking at tropical cyclones for grade 10 to 12 geography. Let's look at what tropical cyclones are all about. Firstly, they have other names such as hurricane, typhoon, woolly woollies. They are named alphabetically at the beginning of each season. They are usually found at plus or minus 5 degrees north and south of the equator. They usually occur over tropical oceans between 5 and 30 degrees north and south. They move from east to west and are found during the mid to late summer or early winter autumn. The features include stormy weather in the vortex, the eye is a calm, intense, low pressure area. The weather associated is warm to hot, violent winds, and intense thunderstorm activity. The areas affected include the eastern side of continents in the tropical latitudes. The image in front of you is a synoptic representation on a weather map. This image looks at the cross section. You must be able to draw and label this figure. So here you can see the eye which has low pressure with subsiding air above it. Clouds associated are the cumulonimbus and cumulus clouds. The weather associated are your thunderstorms. Let's look at a few possible test and exam questions using this example in front of you. What can we identify in this map? We can see the date. It's the 30th of January 2010. So this is summer in the southern hemisphere. We can also see high pressure cell A and high pressure cell B. However, we can also see low pressure cell C. We can also identify isobars that have the name Kathy within it. This cyclone has an eye. So let's look at a few exam questions. Question 1. What type of cyclone is Kathy? We can see that it is formed on the easterly between your high pressure cell B and low pressure cell C. It also has an I. So this is a tropical cyclone. Question 2. State how many cyclones have occurred for this season, including Kathy. So we're going to count the isobars around the eye. We can see that they are one, two, three isobars. So three cyclones have occurred for this season. Question three. In which direction does the cyclone move? It moves westerly or from east to west. And question four. List two conditions necessary for the cyclone to form. List any of the two following answers. The temperature must be above 27 degrees Celsius. Humidity must be high. There must be light and variable wind. The atmosphere must be unstable. There must be a wide area of low pressure with closed isobars. It must be between 5 degrees south and 25 degrees south, which needs the Coriolis force, and it must have low surface friction. The reference I used is the Mind the Gap Geography Study Guide for Grade 12. Here's a special shout out to Nawazi Zondi from Dlangani High School, KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. Thank you for reaching out to jog my memory. I hope this video helped you and viewers viewing this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to drop me an email on jogmymemory at gmail.com. Continue jogging your memory and keep wandering with me. Thank you.